Hey guys, it's Kylie again, and I'm going to show y'all how to make this super cute little baby little beanie or hat. Uh, this is a size newborn. This also has matching little uh, baby booties, of which I have done a tutorial for, and the written pattern is on my blog, both of which I'll try to link in the description below. So, um, the written pattern for this hat will also be on my blog, and I will tag that in the description too. Um, it's just a super cute uh, little hat. It's really quick. It's only nine rounds. It uses a worsted weight yarn, so it works up really quickly. And um, as always, before we get started, if you have not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, be sure and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And um, we will jump right into what you need to get started. Okay, so for this um baby hat the same as the booties i'm using this soft and sleek um yarn be low peel fiber in the color bedtime giggles it is a number four worsted weight yarn um one skein so far has made a pair of baby booties a hat and it's going to make another hat and i'll still probably have some left over so yeah it goes quite a far a long way with just one skein of course this is newborn size so they are relatively small but to get started um, with your uh, baby hat, I'm going to find the end of my yarn here. And for round one, you're going to uh, need to know how to make a magic circle. So if you don't know how to make a magic circle, I will show you. Okay, so to make a magic circle or a magic ring, they're both the same thing. And I, I take my tail of yarn and I put it, my tail to the left, my working yarn to the right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to make circle like so take your hook stick your hook under grab it like so and you'll chain one to secure okay, so once you have that we're going to nine make nine double crochet into this magic ring or circle so I'm just going to do nine double crochet Eight, and there is nine so once you have your nine stitches you're going to pull the bottom there the tail and close it and then you're going to slip stitch into the very first stitch and at the end of round one you should have nine stitches okay so going on to round two we are going to chain two and this chain two does not count as a stitch and we're going to work two double crochet in each stitch around so after you do two double crochet each stitch you're going to slip stitch into this very first stitch of the round and after round two you should have 18 stitches going on to round three we're going to chain two and we're going to double crochet this first stitch and then we're going to double crochet in the next stitch and we're basically going to repeat that all the way around double crochet in one stitch two double crochet in the next stitch and I'm going to repeat that around to the end of the round you're going to slip stitch into that very first double crochet and at the end of round three you should have 27 stitches so going on to round four we are going to chain two we are going to double crochet in the first two stitches And then we're going to place two double crochet in the next stitch. So we'll repeat that all the way around. We will double crochet in two stitches, 
and then place two double crochet in the next stitch and we'll repeat that all the way around. And when you get back to the beginning of the round, you're going to slip stitch in that very first stitch. And at the end of round four, you should have 36 stitches. And we are now through with our increase rounds and rounds five and six will be worked the same way. For rounds five and six, we're going to chain two and we're going to double crochet in each stitch around. So I'm going to work rounds five through six and double crochet in each stitch around. You'll slip stitch into that very first stitch at the end of each round and continue and do those two rounds. I'll meet up with you after rounds five and six. Okay, so once you've completed rounds five and six, you should still have 36 stitches because we didn't decrease or increase or anything. Um, going on to round seven, um, rounds seven, eight, and nine are worked the exact same. So for round seven, we're going to chain two. We're going to double crochet in the first stitch. And then the second stitch is still working a double crochet like normal. And I'll zoom in a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better what I do. Um, instead of working the double crochet in the stitch like normally we'd go in there. Um, instead of going in there, we're going to work around this post. We're going to do a front post double crochet. So if you don't know, um, we're going to go behind this post. You've yarned over, insert your hook behind, yarn over and pull up the loop and pull it up a little bit and then just complete it like a regular double crochet. And it gives it this texture like on this one, it makes these little bridges. It makes this little texture for the brim. Okay, so then you're just gonna repeat that all the way around. You're going to work a regular double crochet. And then the next stitch, you're going to work a front post double crochet. Go around like so. And you're just going to repeat that alternating between a double and a front post. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. And rows 7, 8, and 9 are work the same way. I'm going to finish this round, and when I get back, I'm going to slip stitch in the top of my first stitch. And I'll meet y'all back up when I finish row 7. I just finished round seven. Um, like I said, rounds seven, eight, and nine are worked the exact same ways. I'm gonna go ahead and start round eight so y'all can see it. Chain two, and then we're gonna double crochet in this first stitch, and then we're gonna front post around the same stitch that we've done a front post in on the previous round. We're gonna work a front post around it. So you're going to repeat that around. You're going to double crochet and then work a front post. So you're just basically, you're going to double crochet and double crochet and front post around the front post double crochet. So you're going to work that and you're going to work that around for rows eight and nine. Um, slip stitching into that first stitch when you get back around there. And after you do that for round eight and nine, you can cut your yarn and your baby hat will be uh, done. I'm not going to show y'all the last two rows or finish those because they're just rep repetitions of row seven. So I just wanted to make that, that you double crochet in the double crochet stitches and you front post double crochet on those front post double crochets. So, and then once you get done, your baby hat will look like this. And that is all there is to it. So I hope y'all guys enjoyed this tutorial. If y'all did, be sure and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if y'all haven't already. And check out my blog for more free crochet patterns and check out the matching baby booties pattern for this beanie um like i mentioned before like these um make sure you check that out if you want a matching set and happy crocheting guys